determine quadratic equation from radical roots. I am Anil Kumar and in this video I will explain you two different methods of finding the quadratic equation when we are given their roots. Now in this question we are given roots of quadratic equation as 4 plus minus square root of 7 divided by 3. Explain two methods to find the quadratic equation for the given roots. Apply one of your methods to determine the equation. Now this is a very interesting question and sometimes under thinking and application problems you will get this. Two different methods. Now here we have two roots. So one method is we can have two factors from here. The factors will be x minus one of these roots which is 4 plus square root 7 over 3 times x minus the second root which will be 4 minus square root 7 over 3. So this is one method, correct? And that should be equal to 0. So that quadratic equation will have these two roots. This is the first method which most of you can apply and get the answer. The other method is kind of a very interesting approach. Now when we say this is our root and we are trying to find a quadratic equation in the form of ax square plus bx plus c equals to 0, then how is this related with the equation? You got it. It is x is equals to minus b plus and minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2 times a. That is the relation. Now we are given this root. We can work with these numbers, get a, b, c. Once you get a, b, c, you can write down the equation. That is the method which I am going to use. I hope you find it interesting. You will not see this method in books, but here it is before you. So we'll do it like this. The root given to us is 4 plus minus square root 7 divided by 3. Now we could write this as we have 2a here minus b there. So I can write the first term as minus of minus 4, right? And I can write this as plus minus square root of 7 divided by 3. But in the denominator, I need 2 times a. Okay, so let me multiply both by 2. So what do I get? I can write this as 2 times 3. And the numerator, I can write as minus of 2 times minus 4 will be minus 8 plus and minus. 2 times square root of 7. Okay. Now how do I get b square minus 4ac? I know b. Now since I know b, I can write b equals to minus 8 and I have a equals to 3. Now the idea is to get c. Right. How do we get that? Okay. So what we can do at this stage is, we'll rewrite this as minus of minus 8 plus or minus square root of, if I take 2 inside it should be 4, correct, 4 times 7 is 28, divided by 2 times 3. Now inside I have square root of 28, I know that 28 should be b square minus 4ac, correct, yes. So, what I will do here is, I know what is B and I know what is A. So, I say 28 should be equal to B square. B is minus 8, so I will write this as minus 8 square minus 4 times A is 3, okay, times, times C. So, 28 is equals to B square minus 4AC. Now from here, I can find what C is. Do you see the beauty? So we can rewrite this as 28 equals to minus 8 square is 64 
and that is minus 12c. Now it is a question of solving for c. So it is 12c is equals to 64 minus 28. Okay, so let's solve for c. Let's bring it on this side. So c is equal to 64 minus 28 which is 6 and from 5 if we take away 36 divided by 12 and that gives us 3. Correct? Does it make sense to you? So what we have got here is c is equals to 3 and from there we can write down our equation. Correct? So the equation is now we know a, b and c. a is 3 for us, b is minus 8 and c is 3 and therefore the equation is 3 let me write in a different ink 3 x square minus 8 x plus 3 equals to 0. So that becomes a quadratic equation whose roots are 4 plus minus 7 over 3. Do you get the idea? Right? So if you use the quadratic formula you'll get the same answer. So you can test that out. But I hope with these steps you understand and appreciate how from the radical roots without doing much calculations well these are not less calculations but still you can get the quadratic equation itself. I hope you appreciate it. Thank you and all the best.